Good evening. I am back with another word. Uh, Lord said the same. We won't be long. But this word tonight is coming from John chapter 13. Uh, verses 26. And then we're going to go to chapter 2. And then we're going to look at Luke 22 and 3. Those are the background scriptures we're going to be using tonight. So, I'm pretty sure that, you know, it, you might be familiar with the, the story of Judas Iscariot. Uh, who was the treasurer of the 12 disciples. He was also the disciple that betrayed Yeshua. So, what I want to tell, what I want to show you is a lot of you have either dealt with a Judas or are dealing with one. And I want you, if you are dealing with one now, I want you to look at what Yeshua did, how he handled the situation. And I want you to see the the overall picture. You know, because some of you are in relationships with people that should have been ended a long time ago. And some of you are in relationships with people because there's a lesson for you to learn in it. And in all your getting, you know, I pray you get an understanding. But it will be for the glory of God. Okay, so this was when Jesus told the disciples they were at the supper. He had ate, he had, he, they were eating together the same table so verse 21 says when Jesus has thus said he was troubled in spirit and testified and said verily verily I say unto you that one of you shall betray me now he was around family you know they was tight he loved his disciples like they were family they was considered his family uh that's how he looked at them. They was brothers. Um, they were his children when he taught them. You know, he he was concerned about them growing spiritually. And, and so he nurtured them like a father would, would nurture their children. And he walked with them every day like a friend. You know, as a friend, uh, he was close to them. If something was wrong, he knew it. Even at this supper, you know, one was laying on his chest. He washed their feet. He 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 was humble with them. He showed humility towards them. He was kind to them. Here he was, the son of the... The one and only living God. And he was washing the feet of, uh, of those up under him. He says, Verily, verily, I say unto you that one of you shall betray me. You know? So, then the disciples looked one on another, doubting of whom he spake. They start looking around, wondering, well, it ain't me. 
wonder which one it is, because it ain't me. So now that was leaning on Yeshua's bosom, one of his disciples whom Yeshua loved. You know, they was close to his heart. Simon Peter therefore beckoned to him that he should ask, who it should be of whom he spake? Who, who you talking about? Verse 25, he then, lying on Yeshua's breast, said unto him, Lord, who is it? And Yeshua answered, He it is to whom I shall give a sop when I have dipped it. So, you know, when you when you sop a biscuit, you, you dip the bread in the gravy. You know, in the all you, in, in the uh, juice of, whatever seasoning dripped on the plate. So that's basically what he did. He said, it's the person. It's him who I should give something to eat when I dip this bread in the gravy and give it to a disciple. That's the one that's going to betray me. And when he had dipped the sop, or the bread and the gravy, he gave it to Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon. And after the sop, Satan entered into him. Then Yeshua said unto him, That that you do, do quickly. Now no man at the table knew for what intent he spake this unto him. For some of them thought because Judas had the bag, that Yeshua has said unto him, Buy those things that we have need of against the feast, or that he should give something to the poor. He then, having received the sop, went immediately out, and it was night. So, what the word is, uh, the one who will betray you, is usually the one closest to you. The one that will betray you likes to be close to the valuables. The one that will betray you will be eating at your own table. The one that betray you will be the ones that eat the food that you prepare with your own hand. The ones that will betray you will be the one that had a heart that Satan can in the end. So they always bite because see Satan answered to him and Satan is a serpent so they always bite the hand that feed them that's what I want you to realize that Satan that old serpent when he entered into the heart of the betrayal They always bite the hand that feed them. They don't care who you are. When it's in their hearts to do, when Satan plant that seed, when Satan now to end, that's what they're going to do. And Yeshua knew this, and he let us know this because he didn't try to stop him. Yeah, he could have. He could have stopped him. He could have used his power and, and he could have called down angels from heaven. He could have spoke a word and and and, and his his betrayal dropped dead. All he had to do was speak the word. Remember when, when he saw the tree that didn't have no fruit on it and he spoke for the tree to wither and die? And when they passed back through, the thing was withered and dead. So he could have spoke the word to Judas. Did he shrivel up and die? 
He could have spoke deaf on the man, and the man could have died by the, before they finished cleaning up the kitchen and washing the dishes. And they come back through the room, he dead. It could have happened. But you know what Yeshua did? He remained humble. He did not stop being who he was. He did not stop being who he is. He did not stop being who his father made him to be. And so for you that are dealing with the betrayal right now, You know, the betrayer, the one who is close, the treasurer. He 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 wants to be over the bag. He wants to control the finances. They gotta be close to the finances. They wanna they wanna see what what the money look like. They wanna hold the bag. You, you got to look at the hearts and intent of a person. Now, if you got the spirit of God within you, you see the signs. You see the red flag. Yeshua already knew that his heart wasn't good. Yeshua already knew that he was going to betray him. Some of you already know that, that whoever you're dealing with, you know that that person going to do you dirty. Or you know that that person ain't right. You see the flags? You done seen the signs? God didn't even warn some of you. They always bite the hand that feed them. They sure knew that Judas was going to do him dirty. And he could have did him dirty right back. You know, I already know what you're going to do. I already know what you're trying to do. And I'm not going to let you do I'm going to get you first before you get me. No. He kept living the life of the chosen one. He was chosen for that so he stayed in the will of God and that's what you have to do stay in God's will don't let him take you out of the will of God don't let him take you out of character don't let him make you look like you fake and pretending because they being fake and pretending because that's what Judas was doing he was fake and pretending they, he wasn't keeping it real. He was fronting. Perpetrating a fraud. Pretending to be something that he wasn't. He wasn't, he wasn't authentic. You know, if he'd have been authentic if he would have just kept it real and, and let him know, like, I'm not really down for you. I really don't like you. I like money more than I like you. I'm just pretending like I want to be here with you. Deep down, it's possible that Judas could have been jealous or envious of the Messiah. Because he had no, Yeshua gave him no reason to. Betray him. But somewhere along the way, his heart posture wasn't right because Satan was able to enter in. Verse 13 and 2 says, And supper being ended, the devil having now put into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son to betray him. 
Then I said Luke 22 and 3. Luke 22 and 3 says. Um, yeah. Then entered Satan into Judas, surname Iscariot, being of the number of the twelve. This person is possessed. Because of the hard posture of this person, the enemy is able to enter into them. And so that's why you got to be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove and know what you're dealing with. They sure was able to, to see, to discern that it wasn't Simon. It wasn't Judas, Simon's son, Judas Iscariot. It was Satan that entered into him. So that's why. I know this person might be doing you dirty. This person might have already betrayed you. Your heart might still be hurting from what this person did to you. From what the Judas in your life has done to you. But right now, I, per I pose the question to you. What did Yeshua do? He fed him anyway. He showed him love anyway. He kept being true to who he was. And so that's why. It is not your. It's not up for you to be worried about how to get this person back that betrayed you. Let the hurt go. Give it to God. Give it to him. Give it to him. He know that it's hard. He know that that cup is bitter and that you really don't want to drink it. Remember when Yeshua was like, Father, you know, if possible, take this cup from me. Because of the hurt and the pain. He said his sweat was like blood. He know it ain't easy. He know it hurt. And what did he say? Nevertheless, Father, not my will, but your will be done. Not your will, chosen ones, but Yah's will be done. Keep doing the right thing. He said, "When, when my, when your enemy is thirsty, give him a drink." If they hungry, feed them. For doing so, you heat coals or hot fire on the head. Most high, bring it back to them. Why you doing it? Remember? Oh, I can't believe. It. You know, I, I can't believe that after all I did to them. They still gave me a, a cup of water. You know, still brought me something to eat. Still fed me after what I did to him. Still prepared me something to eat with their own hands. To that spouse that, that betrayed you. Don't walk around in there. Slamming no cabinet doors and knocking dishes, clanging dishes together, cussing with them pots and pans, like my grandma used to say. Don't do that. In all humility, if they hungry, feed them. If they thirsty, fix them something to drink. And let God have his way. Here he 
the hot coals of fire on their head. He'll make it so uncomfortable to them. Because they know. I, I, I instantly believe in the flash that he bring back to some of the dirt that they done did to him. Or the latest dirt. That thing that they know they really got to you. I believe he bring it back to them. The most high know how to humble people. But I just wanted to point these things out to you. That they always bite the hand that feed them. Because they have let the serpent enter to the heart. Which is Satan. Yeshua got the bread and dipped it in the grave and handed it to him. He fed the man. He fed him. And even after that, he, he went right on out. Into darkness, they say, into the night, which is darkness, and betrayed him. Keep being you, keep being true, keep being true, keep being true, keep being you. Keep being true to your real self, to your true self. Keep being true to God. Don't compromise because of the betrayal. Don't compromise because of the betrayal. And I promise you, that God will get the glory. God will get the glory. All things work together for your good. So if this person betray you, God is able to take that betrayal and turn it around and use it for your good. Some kind of way. And you know, it goes on to say that the Judas, who was the treasurer of the disciples, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, they like to be close to the treasure, wherever the treasure is. They like to be close to that. You watch out for them people that like to be close to the bag. They want to hold the bag. They want to see where the money going, where the money at. And they will pretend to be doing the right thing. But it's all a, a big guys. It's all a big guys just, just to get close to the bag. I know you see in the news all the time all the embezzlement cases and, and people stealing, people working their jobs for years and, and, and stealing from them. The hand that feeding them. Stealing from the pe the person who signed in their paycheck for years. And thinking they can get away with it. It's, a, it's in the news every day. For every... The Bible... The, the reason that the Bible is called the living word of God is because... For everybody that's in here... You, you got... A representative on this planet today. There's nothing new under the sun. That's the word of God. And so. You see how Judas entered. In, I mean yeah. How Satan entered into the heart of Judas. The same thing today. With, with the scammers. With the with the people who, who over the PTA and stealing from the children. That's that Judah spirit. That's Satan. Them entering into the heart. And that person is, is a Judas. Don't yield to your flesh. And, and want an eye for an eye and revenge. I'm going to get you back. The world say two wrongs don't make a right. It, it, it don't.
But let God have his way. Let him have his perfect will. Because you, if you let him have his way, it's going to work out for your good. And it goes on to say that, you know, this show you how the enemy will get you out there on the limb and then leave you. It goes on to say that then Judas, when he came to himself, he realized what he did. Soon as they gave him that money that he betrayed him for them 30 pieces of silver. That was when he came to himself and realized what he did, and he went and committed suicide. They destroyed themselves. You don't have to do it. That's what I want you to realize. You don't have to get even. You don't have to get revenge. There's no need to. They destroy themselves. They are their own demise. They are their own downfall. You just keep being you and keep being true. Keep living chosen. Keep representing. Keep representing the kingdom of Yah. Keep being who you were sent here to be. All those the people that the embezzled from. Their, their jobs. What the devil do when he get them on the limb? They get caught. They, they be so greedy. And they keep doing it until they get caught. They slip up and mess up and, and get caught. The audit happens or something. And they realize, hey, the money looking funny around here. They be their own downfall. And, and then they end up losing their job. Everything that they work for. Family, because now they doing pen, penitentiary time. Killed their own life. Destroyed their own livelihood. They killed their own livelihood. The word live is in livelihood. It derives from the word life. Live. They kill it. They kill their own. They destroy their own selves. So... I just want to point these things out to you. If if you are married to the Judas, if if you are living with the betrayer, if you are working with the Judas, keep being you, keep being true, keep representing for the kingdom. It's all gonna work out for your good. All right, God bless you. I love you. Ah, God loves you so much. Give your life to him and let him have his way. If you're not saved, he's waiting with open arms to accept you. All you have to do is repent and give your heart to him. There is no level so low that he can't pick you up and bring you up out of it. All hope is never lost when it comes to God.
There is always hope. With him, all things are possible. And without him, nothing is possible. So, till next time. Peace.